Hi guys, today we are gonna solve this problem which is a spherical raindrop falling under constant gravity grows by absorption of moisture from its surroundings. The rate of increase of its mass is proportional to the instantaneous surface area. Assuming that the drop starts with an infini infinitely small radius, determine its acceleration at a time t. Now this is clearly a problem of uh, a variable mass system. So we know the equa uh, equation of motion of variable mass system is the general equation is like this where this term is the external force in this case that is uh, nothing but mg and uh, this term is the mass of the raindrop v is the uh, this uh, mass instantaneous mass of the raindrop and this v term is the instantaneous velocity of the raindrop and u is nothing but instantaneous velocity of the moisture in this case which is zero so as this u is zero we get the equation like this Okay, so now from the question, the question says that uh, the rate of increase of its mass is proportional to the instantaneous surface area. So the rate of increase of its mass is proportional to its surface area, to its instantaneous surface area. So we can write. where k is the proportionality constant and if uh, rho be the density of the raindrop which is mass per mass by um, volume we can write that from this relation we can write that Okay, so then we can write this. Now this is uh, what we did here. We uh, multiplied this 3 with this k and that is another constant which is uh, we uh, have taken that as K also we can take this as k prime and anything else and that doesn't really matter that we balance these two sides to now cancel out and we get this which we integrate here the limits are from 0 to r and here the limits are 0 to t we get this relation this is the relation we will need later so now in this case the external force is nothing but the mass of the raindrop multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity okay so we can write this equation like this and then now here from this relation again we can write that and sorry 
and from this relation here we can write so these will get cancelled out oh sorry and finally we'll get okay and now here this relation will come in handy how we will replace this r with this and we will get now this is the equation we will solve Now let us imagine the scenario a bit. If this is the ground, this is the drop of the rain, drop of uh, the raindrop of mass m with velocity v downwards, instantaneous velocity is 2 downwards and acceleration due to gravity is also downwards and this is z cap which is a unit vector a vertically upward okay and this is ground so we can write this g vector as this minus gk cap this v vector as minus cap and this instantaneous v vector as we got this relation so from uh, replacing these into this equation we can write okay so this is a linear differential equation and it's integrating factor will be So we can write Okay, if we arrange the equation, this will be like this. Okay, so like this, and we will integrate. This is integration constant which will be at t is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 as uh, initially the drop was uh, static so and at t is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 so c will be also 0 from this relation we can replace the c as 0 and write the 
equation again and here we will get simple so for acceleration at any time we'll just differentiate it with respect to time and we'll get g by 4 so this is our final answer so it will be a constant as g was a constant this will also be a constant so the acceleration at any time of that raindrop will be one fourth of g that means uh, one fourth of the uh, acceleration due to gravity that's it so thank you guys if you like the video please share it to your friends and like comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know how do you like my work thanks